welded up the frame in the last video. Now it's time to get the swing arm back on so I can start on the shock mounts. gonna get the shock mounts laser cut so I know they're the same on both sides. I'm just gonna use Illustrator to make the file. I just need to get the measurements. So I've come up with a few different versions. Right now I'm trying to decide between three holes versus two. Each of these changes the rod height by about a half inch. Also started working on the swing arm mount. This replicates the stock one. And the one I'm making will look like this. It'll have three holes, which will change the rod height by about a half inch. And I also have to work on an inside upper mount for the shocks. So I've got the design finished for the shock mounts and the swing arm mounts. I just need to finish the files and send them off to get cut. And while I'm waiting for that, it's time to get started on the front. So for the front end, I've got MR250 forks, which are about an inch longer than the XL ones. And the triple clamp that I originally bought ended up being bent. So I had to buy another one. I just need to get that opened up and cleaned up so I can start getting the front end on. So first of all, this lock needs to come off. The lock is removed and the triple clamps are on. 
Now it's time to move on to the forks. So the forks are taken apart. I'm gonna clean them up and see how much travel they have. So this triple clamp is from a 1976 XL, which means it has a different bolt pattern for the fender. So I'm gonna sacrifice the one that's been up for the bracket for the fender so I can use an earlier style fender on it. So I want to fix the holes from the original gas tank mounts. I just need to cut out the section that's still raised and make a couple panels to weld in. So the holes are cut out and I've got the template ready. I just need to cut these out of steel now. So I've got the patch pieces cut out and they fit in the holes. I just need to get them welded in now.
So that's going to be it for this video. In the next video, I'll be getting the shock mounts back from the laser cutter. Thanks for watching.